Alright folks, so I just want to do a quick video here showing how I built my Raspberry Pi 3. There are many kits on the internet that you can order, but I decided to order separate components to build my own system. I saved a few bucks that way, and I was able to pick the parts that I wanted to use. Let's start by unboxing the components. First is the Raspberry Pi 3 motherboard. It has a lot of components that are included with this product, and we'll cover those a little bit later. Second, we're going to take a look at the Samsung 32 gigabyte SD card that I used to host the operating system and act as a hard drive for the computer. One of the reasons I chose to buy the components separately was so I could get an SD card that I liked and had better performance than some of the ones offered in kits. I will link a video below that shows how I prepared the SD card with the Noob's operating and installation package. I bought a Canakit power supply because it's capable of delivering 2.5 amps of current, which is appropriate for the Raspberry Pi 3. For this build, I also picked up a Kuji protective case for the Raspberry Pi. The reason I went with this case is because it's translucent or clear, and I wanted to be able to see the components the case does come with two heat sinks that I can attach to the Raspberry Pi motherboard to reduce problems with heat. The Raspberry Pi motherboard drops right into the case and then I will use four screws to mount it permanently in the case. The mounts were not pre-tapped for the screws which made this job a little bit difficult. You want to make sure that you do not slip and poke the PCB board with your screwdriver which could damage your Raspberry Pi. Now that the Raspberry Pi is mounted, I just wanted to talk a little bit about some of the capabilities and features that come with this kit. It's a 1.2 GHz 64-bit quad-core ARM V8 CPU with 1 GB of RAM. It comes equipped with 802.11n wireless LAN and 10 or 100 megabits per second LAN speed. It has Bluetooth 4.1 low energy and 4 USB ports. A 40-pin GPIO system and full HDMI port combined with 3.5 millimeter audio jack and composite video. It also has a camera interface, a display interface, and a micro SD card slot. To control the Raspberry Pi, I picked up a Logitech K400 Bluetooth capable keyboard with trackpad and right and left click mouse buttons. I did want to spend one more second talking about the Canakit power supply that operates at 2.5 amps. It's perfect for the Raspberry Pi 3. Now that the build is done, let's go ahead and plug in our power and HDMI cables. You will need an HDMI cable to connect your Raspberry Pi to a video display unit unless you use the AV adapter. Here is the first boot up of the Raspberry Pi. It's going to take us to the Noob's software installation program that will allow us to load the Raspbian operating system. I am using the Noob's software program to install the Raspbian OS to my Raspberry Pi. I will include a link below that shows how I built the SD card to do this. Once the program loads, I choose the Raspbian operating system. It takes a while to load, so we'll come back once it's done. Once the installation is complete, we'll be prompted with a reboot option. We'll go ahead and click that, and it'll start the Raspbian OS system on our Raspberry Pi. Once the OS is loaded, you'll be able to configure your system to your personal preferences and install any programs that you find useful or interesting. If you like this video, or if you want to see any more content of a similar nature, go ahead and click like or subscribe. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it.